Welcome back to the Duplicolor Garage. I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. Today we want to talk about Duplicolor's new premium truck bed liner, Bed Armor. The three main areas of focus you want to talk about when talking about truck bed liners is performance, durability, and ease of use. Now speaking of performance, this product has superior adhesion, which means it's going to stick to any OEM metal finish. On top of that, this product also has superior impact resistance for all the loads you're going to be carrying in the back of your truck. And speaking about all the loads you're going to be carrying back here, all the abuse you're going to put this liner through, Mother Nature has plenty of abuse of her own, namely the sun. Now, Bed Armor is formulated with UV protectant already in the formula itself, so there's no need for an added UV protectant to go over top of Bed Armor. Now, not only is this product strong and durable, but it's also very easy to use. It's a water-based polyurethane, which means there's no harsh chemicals, there's low odor, and it's also very easy to clean up with soap and water. It's so easy to use, we're going to show you how to do it right now. Yep, let's go. Now, the first and most important step in this three-step process is prep. We started with washing this bed out because there was some dirt and grime. Once we wash it out, you can really start to see that there's some abuse on this bed, which is exactly why we want to put our bed liner on it. Right, and once the bed's clean, this is the time that you're going to take a look around the bed and mask off or remove any drain plugs, factory tie downs, because once bed armor is on, then there's no removing it. And also, you're going to want to pay attention to where you want to put your tape line at the edge of the bed, at the top of your bed rail, and around the tailgate. Now once you have your tape lines down, what you want to do is scuff the bed down with our scuff pad because any OEM paint finish has a high gloss clear coat which needs to be sanded down in order for any bed liner to be properly adhere. When scuffing down, you're creating a lot of dust and debris again. So after that, you're going to want to wipe it down again with the quality wax and grease remover like Duplicolor's Prep Spray. Bed Armor Prep is quick and easy to do, but we really want to emphasize that it is the most important step in achieving your desired result. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm scuffing down the glossy clear coat that, that it comes with from, from the factory. The reason why I'm doing that is because we want something for the bed armor to bite to. If this uh, was a glossy finish, chances are it would flake off or any coating would flake off on a glossy surface. So we want to make sure that we scuff it down so we have a good surface for the coating to bind to. As you can see, I tape before I scuff because we want to have a perfect fine line of where the coating is going to lay down. So you want to scuff right up to your tape line because that's where your coating is going to lay down on. All right, we got the bed scuffed down and we blew the dust out. So what we're going to do next is hit it with some prep spray, which is basically a prep wipe in a can. It's going to clean up all the contaminants. We're going to get this ready for the first coat. So here we go. We're on step two, which is the application, and with our complete truck bed protection kit, you'll find all the tools you need to complete the job. We started the job with our scuff pad. We also have a roller tray, a roller, and then we have a brush for any of the cracks or crevices you might run into. The bed armor protection kit comes with plenty of material to handle the job of a full-size truck with a six-foot bed. If your truck happens to have an eight-foot bed, you have to go out and get yourself the extra cork, which will cover that, and that is sold separately. The brush is great for the edges here because you can get a little more control and a thinner amount of product than you would with the roller. The roller really bunches it up, so it's great for the edges and any cracks or crevices you have. The first coat's complete and dry. We let it dry for about an hour. I'm now able to get back in here and check out how I'm going to start laying down the second coat. We do recommend two coats for full coverage and for that film thickness that you're looking for, for all the durability that you need. You can go more than two coats if you want to, but two coats is the minimum of what we recommend for this product. All right, I'm almost through putting down the second coat of bed armor, and this is a textured coating, so when you do lay it down, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you lay it down as evenly as possible. The roller's gonna do a good job of that, and there is the brush that also comes in the kit, and that's gonna help you get in every nook and cranny and all the little cracks and crevices you know that a truck bed has. Once the second coat is laid down, We'll give it about another hour. That's good, you know, to go ahead and pull the tape off of it. And probably about four hours of good dry time before light duty use and 24 hours before some heavy duty use. All right, once the final coat has had a sufficient time to dry, at least an hour, make sure it's still very dry to your touch. You can start pulling the tape off. And when you're pulling the tape off, make sure you're pulling it away from your painted surface. That'll help give you a nice, clean, straight line. All 
We finished up with the second coat of bed armor and as you can see from behind us it came out awesome. We peeled the tape off and did notice that one of the tape lines were slightly crooked so one of the great advantages of bed armor is there's no recoat window so you can go back and touch up at any time. Also another good advantage, there's no pot left to this product so it's not going to cure in the can. You can go back and use it on any of your future projects. Now the final step in our three step process is cleanup. And since bed armor is a water based product, cleanup is a snap, it's as simple as soap and water. Mm -hmm.